in the previous segment we talked about nitrogen cycle atmospheric nitrogen fixation and industrial now here we are talking of biological nitrogen fixation this means how with the help of living organisms nitrogen can be converted into usable form this can be done by free living bacteria or it can also be done by symbiotic bacteria or symbiotic microorganisms in the category of free living we take the examples of azotobacter rhodospirella and in case of symbiotic we can take the example of rhizobium which is symbiotic with leguminous plant and here we are talking of legum uh, rhizobium leguminosera plus there are certain cyanobacteria also which help in nitrogen fixation so in this category we take we can take the examples of nostoc anabana now these two that is nostoc and anabana they can fix nitrogen in free state also as well as in symbiotic state whereas rhizobium would work or help in nitrogen fixation only in symbiotic condition we'll discuss nitrogen fixation by rhizobium in detail but before that let us understand a few things about rhizobium rhizobium is symbiotic and if we talk of leguminosera this type of or this species of rhizobium then it is symbiotic and in symbiotic condition it is going to help in nitrogen fixation if it is not helping in nitrogen fixation then it is aerobic it is an aerobic bacterium it turns anaerobic when it is in nitrogen fixing state so anaerobic in nitrogen fixing state so many times questions have been asked on this what is the type of respiration shown by rhizobium so rhizobium is an aerobic bacteria but only when it has to fix nitrogen that is the time when it turns anaerobic because during this nitrogen fixation it requires that anaerobic condition for the enzyme to work rhizobium has an enzyme called nitrogenase this is the enzyme which is helping in nitrogen fixation this nitrogenase is a molybdenum iron containing protein so this is the one which is acting or which can work only in an aerobic condition nitrogenase can work only in an aerobic conditions and that is why when we have written here that rhizobium acts as an aerobic bacterium when it has to a uh, help in nitrogen fixation the reason is the enzyme which is helping in nitrogen fixation that is nitrogenase can work only in anaerobic conditions so this is some information about rhizobium now we will take various steps how this symbiotic nitrogen fixation takes place the first that we would talk about is the nodule formation we know that this rhizobium survives or lives in the nodules of the roots of leguminous plants so how is that nodule form so first is nodule formation what happens is if this is the root and this is the root hair 
the infection of this bacterium to the plant takes place through the root hair. These nitrogenase, they are in the soil. They make an infection thread. So here we will write down all the steps. So what is done first is formation of infection thread. Infection thread is a chain of these bacteria. And this chain enters through the root hair. As soon as this entry takes place, the root hair curls. So next step is curling of root hair. That means after the infection thread has gone in, the root hair would become curled like this. And now this is the root and this is the curled root hair and the thread, infection thread is going in this infection through the root hair would go in up to the cortical cells. Now what is happening after this is infection thread reaches up to cortex. That is the cells of the cortex in the root. Now the bacteria that is the infection thread, the bacteria which have gone in, they change into two types. Some would change into bacterioids and these bacterioids would initiate cell division of the cortical cells. So these bacterioid state initiates cell division in cortex and if the cortical cells they divide let me make some cells here so that we and let us draw only this cells cortical cells but actually thing is there is xylem phloem in the middle also cortical cells also because we want to show the division of cortical cells we are drawing only cortex so when these cells divide there would be a mass of cell formed and that mass of the cell would be known as the nodule. So this initiates cell division that is the bacterioids. They would initiate cell division and nodule formation takes place. So we said that first step is formation of the infection thread. That is these rhizobia, this, these are rhizobia and this thread like structure which is formed is known as the or we can take this arrow here this is the infection thread infection thread enters into the root hair the root hair shows curling it bends then this infection thread reaches up to the cortex in the cortex some of those bacteria change into bacterioids and these bacterioids initiate cell division of the cortical cells. If in a particular area many cells are formed, it would result into formation of a lump or a tumor like thing. And that is known as the nodule. So nodule formation has taken place. Some cells, they get modified into nitrogen fixing cells. These are specialized cells which have thick wall where nitrogen fixation can take place because the enzyme which is going to help in nitrogen fixation is working only in anaerobic condition. So these special cells would be, a, would be tightly packed cells which would create anaerobic condition for nitrogenase to work. So these are special nitrogen fixing cells which maintain anaerobic conditions for this nitrogenase to work. So now the bacteria have reached up to the cortex. 
cortical cells have divided to form nodules and in the nodules there are specialized nitrogen fixing cells. They are nothing but bacteria but now they have become specialized so that this enzyme nitrogenase can work in anaerobic condition. So this is step number one that is nodule formation. Now nodule formation has taken place. Now what is going to happen? The next step is the working of nitrogenase. So now let us take the further steps.